Let's review some basic facts about the roots of a complex number, start, starting by looking at an example. The fourth roots of negative 8 plus i times 8 root 3 are root 3 plus i minus 1 plus i root 3 minus root 3 minus i and 1 minus i root 3. Now, to get these roots, I first convert my original complex number into trig form. And then you'll notice that in order to get the roots, I have to take the fourth root of the, art of the modulus, and that's going to be 2. To get the first root, I divide this number, 2 pi over 3, the argument, by 4, and I get pi over 6. And each of these successive roots is going to be how far apart? Well, 2 pi, one revolution, divided by 4, so pi over 2. In each case, I'm adding pi over 2. Now, it looks like I'm adding something else, but it's actually 3 pi over 6 that I'm adding, which is the same as pi over 2. So each of these is pi over 2 apart. And remember, when you're looking for fourth roots, there are only going to be four of them. If you're looking for sixth roots, there will be six distinct roots. So here's uh, my recap. Make sure you know these things when you're looking for the roots of a complex number. It'll actually make the process go quicker. All of the roots are going to have the same modulus, right? And you get that modulus by taking the root of the original mo modulus to get the new one. The primary root, or the first root, is going to have argument, whatever the original argument was, divided by the degree of the root. So if you want the fourth root, you take one-fourth of the original argument. In this case, we got pi over 6. Successive roots are found by adding 2 pi divided by whatever the index of the root is. In this case, the fourth root, so we divide 2 pi by 4. If we were taking fifth roots, we would add 2 pi over 5. And then, remember, there are exactly four distinct fourth roots. Five distinct fifth roots, six distinct sixth roots, and so on. These are the things to remember when you're looking for the roots of a complex number.